And could you explain what you mean by opt-up? Because I know that that is uh, Tinker Island and it's, an, it's a port inside the port. And clear on if it were to be an opt-up terminal, could you please explain, uh, explain specifically? An, an opt-up terminal is a, a port outside the port area. You know, normally a port is uh, by the water, but an up dock is outside outside that water, outside the port, outside the main port. Uh, what is the capacity of uh, vehicles or parts or handled in this company? We have done well over 50,000 years. We have done well over 50,000 years. Of the first time, both brand new and uh, very new. So, who specifically are your major uh, claims? Mm, we have a lot of them. We have a lot of them. We have the Dangotes, we have the Lok Motors, we have the Peace Pass Transit, we have the CCECC, we have the CGC, uh, we have uh, the Rare Shutus, uh, we have the SSC Magazine Limited. We have a lot of a whole lot of them. This by way of uh, uh, volume importers, volume car importers, apart from the individual importers. No. But on, from the shipping line as well, we have the headline, uh, auto, auto, auto carriers, we have the local car, local, local car carriers, we have the um, five stars, we have the uh, um, corner shipping, we have uh, the Messina and the whole lot of them. Uh, from your explanation, I understand you, uh, you, you make use of car carriers in your operation. Yeah. Uh, your company can it boast of uh, about how many car carriers? Yeah, right now we have uh, not less than 10 large ones. We have uh, four car carriers that can carry eight the single move we have also four that can carry ten the single move then we have uh, one that can carry three the move then we have a host of other smaller ones that can carry one one you know. and this is uh, uh, this calculus we are brought in to ease the cost of transfer and the convenience you know And from what I, I you've said and I've known about uh, the company, uh, could you tell us uh, um, the land space in square meters of your company? Okay, we, we have a, a total storage place uh, size of about 52,000 square meters. This is uh, uh, exclusive of the warehouse, the large warehouse that we have, that is about 7,000 square meters. What is uh, the distance from the port to the Clarence Ship of the Doctor? It's about 9 to 10 kilometers. 9 to 10 kilometers. So, how do you guarantee safety? of cargo and the goodness of vehicle and safe transfer. Um, we have a lot of uh, safety measures put in place. Um, apart from our um, uh, relationship with the last mass, the police, we also have our own internal security. We, we, we do have a, 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 what we call uh, expert riders that monitors uh, our transfer uh, when, when, when it is on. Apart from that, we have uh, people stationed at strategic uh, places to make sure that there are no diversions or incident of any part of the vehicle. Uh, could you state uh, the number of uh, the types of vehicles we handle, the, you know, ranging from cars, buses, and what others? We have had cars, we have had the, the small vans, the big vans, the trucks, the trailers, the eight moving equipment, and uh, including some project cargoes. What can you say about uh, the management of the um, we, we 
yeah, I think we have a very sound, uh, sound uh, management. You know, we have all the professionals. We have both. We have uh, professional uh, uh, performers. We have licensed uh, shipping practitioners. We have chartered accountants. We have chartered uh, 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 logisticians. And uh, all these things, all these people build up the management team. And that's where we have the successful so far. I understand the current shipping of the terminal is directly accessible to the Kirikiri uh, Industrial Road at Papa and the Badago Express uh, Road through my two and the uh, Shes border with the Nigerian Navy Town. That's right. The International Trade Fair and the Nigerian Army adult cantonment. That's right. So what is the advantage of uh, all these uh, military areas? It has a lot of advantages. The military uh, people around us help us uh, the security aspect of it, then the commercial, the international trade fair and the others. It is also an additional uh, uh, um, business because apart from apart from the vehicles, we do containers occasionally too. How many tiers of containers can you can you have? If, if we are to do only containers, if we, if we are to do only containers, the, the terminal can take as much as uh, 10 to 15,000 tiers at any given time. As a terminal, I'm sure you have customs that uh, work and operate just like in the seaports. So are the various units uh, of the customs uh, are also very clear on shipping. Of course, as a as a bonded terminal, you can you can't operate a bonded terminal without the presence of customs. So we have the full complement of the customs men here, yeah? from the resident uh, officers to the enforcement unit, to the CIUs, to the uh, um, valuation. Even you have the security service men here. Yeah? So we have all all the personnel that are required to be involved in the process of international uh, 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 trade have them here. Uh, can you tell us something about the equipment that are available to this For the containers, for the containers we have uh, rich stackers, we have two rich stackers for five tons, Kalma rich stackers, we have one top loader that is also for five tons. We have it at five tons top lead. And we have the various uh, other small small top leads, three, four tons for the warehouse. So, what could you say are the challenges uh, since you are the one that set the pace for what you said? Mm, the, the challenges uh, are enormous, uh, apart from the finance, you know that the uh, only time of the is highly capital uh, intensive. Um, if you had enough finance, you know, you would do much, much, much better than uh, we are doing now. But within the limited resources we have, in other words, uh, it's possible if you have people from abroad are interested to stem their vessels, your terminal can take as much. Of course, of course, that is our next level. That is what uh, we are planning to do now. We are, we are going out trying to bring in uh, uh, investors to, to bring the ship to Nigeria so that it can, can uh, come here. We have also started a, a small consolidation from Europe to Nigeria, and uh, we hope to grow with it. Thank you. Thank you very much for the brief chat with you. We hope to meet up with you some other time. Um, ladies and gentlemen and viewers, you have just listened to the interview, and subsequently you'll be meeting up with other staffs, and then you'll be hearing more as it's a documentary on the company. So stay tuned. Thank you.